with Caleb and Bez in place, Coach and GM, we feel really good about where we are. I mean, it's uh, we couldn't have a, a perfect group to kind of lead our organization. So I, I think the excitement there and where we are there, we're very, very excited. We're in a really good place. As far as construction, I, I recall you saying maybe in the summer, uh, Pete was in our station, said maybe the fall, are we sort of in... Well, we're, 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 we? well, we're, we're working as hard as we can to break ground this summer. Um, I mean, we want to make a deadline um, and to, to have our uh, first game in the summer of 21. So we really do need to get to work and get going. Uh, with that said, we want to make sure that we build um, the best stadium for Columbus. And so if, it, if it's a few months later than that, uh, we will certainly be open to that, whatever whatever we can do to make the best facility that, that can be used by Columbus for so many things. What has the process been like for you so far since this whole thing has come to fruition? I mean, I think it's, I mean, I, I said the Columbus Way is truly amazing. Uh, working, everybody is collaborative here. Everybody wants to see things get done. So it's, it's, a, it's I, I know if, if you live here, you don't understand that that doesn't happen in a lot of communities. So it's truly amazing how everything works together and everybody's on the same page. Let's get this done. I mean, the Columbus Crew is important for this community, and I think everybody realized how important it was. But that can-do attitude of what's best for a community is very rare and very exciting to be part of. What still needs to get done? Um, you know, we, we obviously have to rebuild our staff, which we're working on. Um, we have to sell tickets uh, so we, we, and suites and support for the team. So well, that's a lot of work. Uh, the planning and design of the stadium, of course, has to come together. But as where we are as a soccer team and our roster, we feel really good about it. We just need for our fans to come out and support us. I know that the Save the Crew movement handed you a, a list of pledges from people who wanted to buy season tickets. Do you know anything about whether that's been something that's paid the off? The supporter group is amazing. I mean, they they are the first in line to help out. Um, they're the most enthusiastic group. We are so fortunate. What you want is a really passionate fan base when you have a sports team. And we couldn't ask for more from the supporter group of the Columbus crew. We think they're the best in the country. And, and we need for that supporter group to grow. And we need for, for fans to come out. I mean, it's just the perfect way to spend the day with your family. It's just such a great family environment. So we're hoping that everybody will come support us on March 1st. Hey, how much of an educational experience is this for you? I, I imagine you weren't big, big, big on soccer or no, knew a lot about it, or maybe you did. Now let me clarify. I know very little about soccer, <laughs> um, but I'm learning so much. But just the MLS has been great. I mean, they they do an orientation for us. They work. They're willing to help us out to come to Columbus and help us out in any way. So we feel, and, and we have supported the other owners, we feel like we're in really good hands to, to do the training. But we, we, we know that we have the best people in place to lead the soccer part of the organization with Caleb and Bez. So we couldn't be more pleased to have those, those people in place and, and building our staff out. We're very confident that we're going to have the most successful organization in the MLS. How have you gotten up to speed? Or are you still getting up to speed? Uh, obviously, it's a learning process. Still getting up to speed. Have so much to learn about the game. But, but we do understand how important it is to take care of our fans. We understand that part. We do understand giving back to the community. And, you know, we're all in on that and very active already. So, so we can handle it in the business part. We do understand that. So there's a lot of advantage to having gone through um, the sports experience in Cleveland. Dean, what is the Columbus Way? It's a collaborative effort to, to make sure the community is the best it can be in all areas. I mean, it's, it's you know, attracting businesses to, you know, keeping a sports team. I mean, the Columbus Way is what's the best thing for this community? How do we all work together to get this done? And it's the business community. It's government. And that is truly, it's truly amazing. Everybody sits down at a table and it's collaborative. And, and that's the Columbus Way. It's a collaborative effort to make sure it's the best community you can be.
big. And the land on Arena West with Nationwide Realty Investors, has that gone through? Is there a deal with that to purchase that For, for Confluence Village? Yes. We're working on all of that. We're making progress. They've been tremendous to work with. So we'll just keep continue to work with it. Well, obviously, we've got some deadlines to make so we can get the stadium underway. But I think I think we'll make great progress. I'm really, really delighted to be working with everybody. Dan, yeah, I know we're in Columbus, but there's a lot of Browns fans here. Yeah. How have you Thank liked? You. Yeah, yeah. How have you liked Freddie so far? That higher and, and how's he working? I know it's insanely early, but what are the very early returns of Freddie? Pitchfork? You know, Freddie is what you see is what you get. He's all football, very authentic, just a wonderful human being. We're very excited to have Freddie part of our organization. He, he's doing he's doing great. Is there going to be much overlap between? Browns staff and Columbus crew staff. I mean, that's well to get it like, to, to get it started. To get it, there's some, but but we you know we we ha this is a Columbus team. We have a Columbus presence, so our staff will be here, and and some of the knowledge we have from from the Browns, of course, we'll use that knowledge. But but it is to be a Columbus-based organization that's focused on the Columbus crew. When and how did you learn that the crew was leaving and then decided to stay? Oh, you I mean you couldn't help but not know <laughs> about the story of the Columbus crew, right? right. It, it, you kept reading about it. And we we're like, we just assumed that somebody would step up and do it. Finally, we just called and said, do you need some help? Well, you know, we, we love sports and met with the Edwards family and um, Alex Fisher, the partnership, and and saw that there was an opportunity. So it was it, it was just a great opportunity. We're just delighted to be part of the MLS and part of Columbus. And you mentioned you, know, you grew up in a family business, yeah. your husband did family business as well. And Cleveland's a very passionate city and a very passionate community, but Columbus is the same way as well. Have you, how have you noticed that sense of family in this community and that organization? Well, we were fortunate enough to go to, the, to Ohio State game with the Edwards family. And I have to tell you, I mean, that is an unbelievable experience. And then you realize, of course, being with their family, it's so family oriented. But, but the, the passion and the commitment of this family base and this community is tremendous so we're you know our family is all excited I mean for, for Christmas our grandchildren got all the yellow and black we're ready to roll.